How to use Opus Clip to cut long form into short form, saving you hours of time in your editing. First thing you want to do is open up Opus Clip. Then you can put a YouTube link in, a Rumble link or a Zoom link. But for now, I'm going to take one from the computer. So this is from a live video I did on Instagram. So I'm going to open it. Opus Clip will tell you how long it's going to take for the video to upload. And one of the great things about it is you don't have to hang about till it's done. You can come back. It'll email you whenever it's done. So I can leave this and come back later. Once you have your video uploaded, just click on Get Clips in one click. Then just wait for it to process. Once Opus Clip has done its magic, you will see you end up with a number of clips. So this will cut it down to whatever it thinks is the best. AI will go through and you'll see this is for people that are posting like one a day. There's two weeks content done. If you're posting more, you've more. Like I have just looking at these now, like there's 20, 21, let's scroll past there, 23 videos and they have, they've all been ranked. So 99 out of 100, the hook's good, the flow's good, the engagement's good, the trend. So the next thing that you want to do is go in and edit, go to edit clip. A lot of people just straight up download these, but when we go into edit clip, gives us a whole lot of stuff to play with. So you can reframe, it'll tell you everything anyway, but I'll just get rid of this for now. So if I play this now, I think I'm looking for the video, but overall that, so for me, we don't need that breathing. I think I'm looking, so I can go in now and split, I can go and zoom in on this a wee bit so I have more room. And then I'll go back to the start. And then I can just drag this across to here. So that cuts that out. I think I'm looking for the video, the overall video. So one of the videos I have lined up tonight, this week is something. So then you can go in and, and it's worth going through all of this and just making sure that everything's spelt right. Like this looks like tiny as you please. So I could start with, hello, my name is Liam. And um, I can I just, for example, if I wanted to cut that, I could split it here. So if I like that bit, but I didn't like the hello, I'm, my name is Liam. So I just want to cut that back here. So now whenever I go here, take it back a bit and play it from here. I could start with, and then I have quotes for coaches. I could editing the how to. And I can also undo all of that as well if I don't want to do that. So we've got a couple of different things we can do here as well. We can remove the filler words. So there must be a few ums and ahs. Because this is from a live, there's going to be. So I can go in here and just remove the 12 pauses that were found. So now that will take away all of the pauses, the breathe and everything else. I think of the, the video, the overall video. So one of the videos I have lined up tonight, this week is about tiny as you please. So I could start with. So you see it's just cutting all of that out. So what I would do now is I would go through and make sure everything's spelled correctly. Again, it's not overly important. If, you, if you're just doing this all for speed, then you can just go through it fast. You can go into the corner here and I can ch change my caption. So instead of three, three lines per page, I can have one if I want. But I don't really like that because it's too fast, especially when I'm talking about eye fatigue. Hello, my name is Liam and I am a coach. So I'm going to go back to the three. I can also have it just change where, where it sits. Obviously, I don't want it there. But I'm going to go to auto because auto had it pretty good place. You can change the color as well if you want, whatever the color is that you're having popped up. Again, I'm just gonna leave it green for now. And again, the animation can be none, which for what I'm doing, that's what I would prefer. I would go with none, but you can mix it up. You can do what bounce, the personal note, underline. For, for like hours, but, we'll do but again, I think because I'm talking about eye fatigue that I don't want to be doing that. I can come in here and I can change. I actually like that text, but again, it's easy to change it. If I wanted to use Poppins instead, then it looks a bit cleaner. You can, if you want, move your video so it's smaller or you can make it yourself larger. So it depends on the way that your video is, but for me, that's just done it perfectly. So I'm just showing you these examples just to show that you don't have to do any of this. You literally can just download it, upload it, and have it ready to go. Um, I can have it uppercase or as typed. I I like uppercase whenever we're using these sorts of things. And I can put in a font stroke. So you see there's a wee black stroke. I can change that if I want. So you've loads of things that you can do. AI keywords highlighter, you can just turn that off because I don't want 
anything popping up so if i if for example i wasn't happy with this if i'm going to do this as a different size clip maybe i'm using instagram or something i can go to clip layout settings and i can instagram would be one by one i actually don't want to do that but it would be a one by one so that's what it looks like on your instagram feed and then 16 by 9 would be YouTube or landscape. So for Facebook, anything like that. You also can go on down here and go to AI em emojis. And AI emojis and just switch switch that on. So whenever I play now. So see the way it's got a wee X, it just added a wee X in. So you can have it do wee emojis as well if you think that's going to stand out. But... It's sometimes worth going through and making sure everything's spelt right because as you see there, like Alex or Moses, that's not how you spell Alex or Moses, who I am talking about in this video. But just go through, you can go through it here. Again, if I want, I can edit the words here. I can split and trim it here. I can add an emoji here or I can add a B-roll. So I can just let the AA generate some B-roll here. So say if I just choose that section there, and I want to add some B-roll. Sometimes the B-roll is good. Sometimes it does not. So once it's finished its B-roll, you can actually see that it's used things like this. It'll give you options. You can regenerate stuff. You can delete it. So then whenever you're going through, it's just adding different B-roll. Personally, I wouldn't use any of this because if I'm going to add B-roll, I would just do this myself. But Again, if you just wanted to use it as a fast way to just make the video stand out a little bit more, then, but as you see there, like that, I'm talking about looking. I'm talking about looking at the lens, and this is people looking at each other. So it doesn't really fit what I want to do, but just so you know that that's what you can do. Once you have the video edited and you're happy with it, you just go over here and go download HD. And that's basically it. That's the video downloaded. A few things to think about whilst you're using Opus Clip. Sometimes it will just cut words or statements that it thinks really good and just slot them together. And if you actually listen back, they make no sense whatsoever. So make sure you just go through, either read it, tidy it up, make sure if you're talking about anybody, their names are spelt right, all that sort of thing. This is just going to save you mountains of time and if you have a long form, so I record everything. So if I'm doing a live, I record myself doing the live like this video here. Then I just throw it into Opus Clip, get it cut up, and then I just upload those. If you actually enjoy editing and you only want to use Opus Clip when you don't have time, then use this video here to make your videos pop even more.